The Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, initiated the project Fly Ash Mission to promote utilization and safe disposal of fly ash. The mission task on roads and embankments has been entrusted to Central Road Research Institute, New Delhi. To demonstrate use of fly ash in road construction, one kilometer length stretch on Raichur Arshanagi Road in Raichur district of Karnataka state was selected. The project was taken up in collaboration with Karnataka Public Works Department. The selected road stretch is in black cotton soil area. The existing road crust consisted of a thin layer of murum compacted over black cotton soil subgrade. Due to rains and traffic, the existing road was badly damaged and hence the pavement was reconstructed. The Raichur Thermal Power Station is located near the stretch and hence fly ash was obtained from this plant. The existing embankment was widened on both sides using local soil and a clear roadway width of 7.5 meter was prepared. Big clots in the burrow soil were broken manually and spread for compaction. Moisture content was kept between OMC plus or minus 2% during compaction. The subgrade was compacted using an 8 ton static smooth wheel road roller so that minimum 98% of proctor density was achieved. Quality control plays a key role for success of road construction works. Density and moisture content of compacted subgrade was checked at regular intervals. The demonstration stretch has been divided into five sections of 200 meters length each. Three sections of flexible pavement, one section of semi-rigid pavement and one section of rigid pavement have been constructed using ash in different layers. One control section wherein fly ash has not been used has also been constructed for comparison of performance. Conventionally, road sub-bases are constructed using gravel. Pond ash was used to replace gravel in sub-base course construction in all the ash-based pavement sections except rigid pavement section. Pond ash was spread for a length of 200 meters in loose thickness of 150 millimeters over the entire width of the pavement and leveled to proper profile. To achieve proper camber, camber board was used. Water was sprinkled over the ash. The pond ash layer was compacted using an 8 ton static smooth wheeled road roller. Thank you.
density tests done by using sand cone method on the compacted layer showed good compaction. In base course, stabilized pond ash has been used in two sections. In one of the sections, 67% pond ash was mixed with 33% murum. Lime stabilized pond ash was used in another section to replace a part of water bound macadam layer. Since the reactivity of pond ash with lime is negligible, a mixture of 82% pond ash, 15% black cotton soil, and 3% lime was used. Locally available commercial grade hydrated powdered lime was used. The quantity of materials required were calculated based on the compacted density of the mix and the proportions of the individual materials to be used. Pond ash was stacked on the shoulders in trapezoidal blocks of height not exceeding 0.5 meters and murum or black cotton soil and lime were stacked over it uniformly. These materials were mixed in a dry state using simple hand tools till the mix attained uniform color. The mixed material was again stacked and furrows were made for watering. Required amount of water was added to each stack to bring moisture content to OMC. The moist pond ash was again mixed thoroughly and the mixture was spread manually over the pavement. The loose layer thickness was kept equal to about 1.6 times the compacted layer thickness specified. The mixed material was spread over sub-base to the required thickness using depth blocks. Murum was laid on the both sides of the pavement to provide confinement. and smooth wheeled static roller was used to compact the stabilized ash layer. The rolling was commenced from the edges and progressed towards the center of the pavement with an overlapping of wheel by 50% each time. The compaction of the stabilized ash layer required about 8 passes of the roller. Compaction of pond ash was sometimes difficult especially at curves and when the road stretch was at a gradient. Pond ash accumulated in front of the roller wheels and obstructed further movement of the roller. Such a situation used to result in a wavy surface and uneven compaction. To overcome this problem, a thin layer of murum was spread over pond ash. Adequate amount of water was sprinkled and moisture content was brought to OMC. Satisfactory rolling was achieved after this operation. The proposed specification in the upper layers for the flexible pavement and control section consisted of water bound macadam, commonly known as WBM.
WBM was laid over the compacted subbase. It was rolled to form the wearing surface. In the rigid pavement section, 100 mm thick drainage layer of compacted sand was laid before constructing the concrete pavement. The concrete was mixed using conventional diesel operated concrete mixer. The pavement specification for the rigid pavement section consisted of 100 mm thick dry lean cement fly ash concrete base course over which 100 mm thick roller compacted concrete was provided. The mixed proportions of dry lean fly ash concrete was 1 part cement. 2.87 parts fly ash, 2.5 parts sand and 10 parts of coarse aggregates. The mixed proportions of roller compacted concrete was 1 is to 1.5 is to 3. In roller compacted concrete, 30% of cement was replaced using fly ash. In rigid pavement section, fly ash collected in dry form from second or third stage of electrostatic precipitator was used. Slump of concrete was measured using slump cone to check the quality of the concrete being placed. Cubes were cast regularly during the construction phase to check the strength of concrete. The concrete was placed manually. Layer thickness of dry lean cement fly ash concrete and roller compacted concrete slabs were checked using depth blocks. Rolling was done using the static road roller to achieve a smooth surface free from irregularities. Inverted contraction joints were provided at 10 meters interval. Checking of the camber after laying the concrete. Finished concrete pavement surface.
Thank you.